this lecture is giant papillary conjunctivitis. We'll discuss pathogenesis, diagnosis, and treatment. Starting with pathogenesis, mechanically induced papillary conjunctivitis, the severe form of which is known as giant papillary conjunctivitis or GPC, can occur secondary to a variety of mechanical stimuli of the tarsal conjunctiva. It is most frequently encountered with contact lens wear when it is termed contact lens associated papillary conjunctivitis, CLPC. The risk is increased by the buildup of proteinaceous deposits and cellular debris on the contact lens surface. Other causes include ocular processes, exposed sutures, and scleral buckles, corneal surface irregularities, and filtering blebs. A related phenomena is so called mucus fishing syndrome. When in a variety of underlying anterior segment disorders, patients develop or exacerbate a chronic papillary reaction due to repetitive manual removal of mucus. Giant papillae can also be seen in other conditions such as VKC and AKC. Diagnosis is based on symptoms and signs. Symptoms consist of a foreign body sensation, redness, itching, increased mucus production, blurring and loss of contact lens to tolerance. Symptoms may be worse after lens removal. Patients should be questioned about contact lens cleaning and maintenance. Signs include variable mucus discharge. Substantial contact lens protein deposit may be present. Excessive contact lens mobility due to upper lid capture. Superior tarsal hyperemia and papillae. By definition, giant papillae are more than one millimeter in diameter. But the clinical syndrome of mechanically induced papillary conjunctivitis commonly features only fine to medium papillae, particularly in early or mild disease. Focal apical ulceration and whitish scarring may develop or on large papillae. Keratopathy is rare because of relatively subdued secretion of inflammatory cytokines. Ptosis may occur mainly as a result of irritative spasm and tissue laxity secondary to chronic inflammation. Now, treatment uh, is related to cause and other causes of conjunctival papillae should be excluded as well as contact lens intolerance due to other causes such as a reaction to lens cleaning solutions and dry eyes. So the first uh, methodology is removal of the stimulus. Contact lens wear should be discontinued for several weeks and the current lenses replaced. For mild to moderate disease, this may be adequate for resolution, sometimes in conjunction with reduced wearing time. In severe contact lens papillary conjunctivitis, a longer interval without lens wear may be needed. Removal of other underlying causes such as exposed suture or a scleral buckle. Assessment of the status and fit of an ocular prosthesis. Filtering bleb partial excision, revision with non-penetrating drainage surgery or glaucoma drainage device implantation. Other methodology can be ensuring effective cleaning of contact lens or prosthesis by changing the type of contact lens solution, particularly discontinuation of preservative containing uh, preparations, switching to monthly then daily disposable contact lens if the condition persists after renewing non-disposable lenses. Rigid lenses carry a reduced risk of uh, contact lens uh, papillary conjunctivitis, which is 5%, probably because they are easier to clean efficiently. Cessation of contact lens wear, of course. Uh, substituting spectacles or refractive surgery may be necessary for severe or refractory disease. Regular, at least weekly use of contact lens protein removal tablets. 
in case of processes polishing cleaning with detergent and coating topical medication like mast cell stabilizer should be non preserved in patients wearing soft contact lenses or can be installed when the lenses are not in the eye with a delay of perhaps half an hour after drops in, uh, installation prior to lens insertion most can be continued long term if necessary antihistamine non steroidal anti inflammatory agents and combined antihistamines mast cell stabilizer may be uh, of benefit topical steroids can be used for the acute phase of resistant cases particularly those where effective removal of stimulus is difficult as in blebb related diseases so that's it for the uh, giant papillary conjunctivitis uh, we'll conclude it here we'll discuss more about the contact lens uh, later and i will link that lecture uh, when we will be discussing that if you like this please click on the like button and subscribe to the channel thank you